You look at your peach or nectarine tree and something's wrong. The leaves look puckered, curled or strangely red and discoloured. After five minutes with me, a plant scientist, you'll learn key symptoms of peach leaf curl, a common and frustrating fungal disease. You will know what causes peach leaf curl fungus. And most importantly, you'll learn how to stop peach leaf curl fungus from destroying your peach tree. More on stopping the fungus later. Before you take action, let's make absolutely sure your tree does have peach leaf curl fungus. Let's zoom in on the symptoms. Infected leaves appear in early spring and look distinctly odd. They're distorted and deformed and often slightly thicker than healthy peach leaves. The infected areas of the leaves start a pale green but quickly turn red or pink. This infected peach leaf almost looks like a chicken's comb. See these puffy green and red ruffles? And can you see the faint white coating on the red part of this infected leaf? In damp weather, you may see the spores of the fungus as a faint white powder forming on the surface of the infected leaves. By late spring, the infected peach leaves become dark brown, brittle and fall off far earlier than they should. The cause of peach leaf curl is a fungus called Tephrina deformans. This fungus infects peach, nectarine and occasionally almond trees. So this video also applies to them. The fungus likes cool, wet conditions. So early spring is peach leaf curl prime time. Peach leaf curl fungus is closely related to the fungus which causes pocket plum disease. So watch my other video if your plum fruit are deformed. Thankfully, peach leaf curl fungus won't destroy your trees outright. Phew. But peach leaf curl does severely weaken your peach tree. And a weak peach tree produces far fewer yummy peaches. So to keep your peach tree strong and productive year after year, you need to take action. Here are four main ways you can prevent and treat peach leaf curl fungus. The first way, pruning. If the peach leaf curl infection is mild and only a handful of leaves are infected, you can prune them out to limit fungus spread. You'll notice this is not a peach tree. I'm actually pruning out apple powdery mildew fungus, but you get the idea. But let's be honest, for a large and heavily infected tree, pruning out the infected shoots is impossible. But what you can do is make sure you collect fallen leaves and dispose of them by burning or binning them. Don't compost them. Then, in late spring, put down a mulch of organic matter, such as well-rotted manure or compost, below the canopy of your peach tree to a depth of two to three inches, or the length of your little finger. This layer of mulch will help to bury any leaves infected with peach leaf curl and also help to retain moisture and provide nutrients for the peach tree. Remember, clean your pruning tools after use to avoid spreading the fungus. Second, fungicides, if they're available. For those of us in the UK, use at home fungicides for treating peach trees and edible plants in general are limited or non-existent. But if you live in a country where it is legally allowed, you can apply a copper or sulfur-based fungicide. If you do apply fungicides, timing is very important. You need to spray in late autumn after leaf fall and in early spring before the flower or leaf buds break. Third, protect the branches and the leaves of your peach tree from rain because peach leaf curl fungus needs moisture to infect the leaf buds. So, by keeping the tree dry from October to May, you can drastically reduce peach leaf curl infection. I know, a beautiful large conservatory or greenhouse is a peachy dream. But if, like me, you don't have a gorgeous conservatory, you can make do with a DIY lean-to made with a wooden framework and plastic sheeting, like you can see here. Just remember to leave the ends of the structure open to allow for airflow and so bees or other pollinators can get in to reach the peach flowers in the spring and ensure that you water the base of the plant regularly. Remember, only the tree roots need water. Fourth and last, if needed, find an alternative. Consider peach tree varieties that are resistant to peach leaf curl fungus. Avalon Pride is a peach that is reputed to be almost fully resistant to peach leaf curl. 
And if you don't mind, a slightly less popular cousin, then try an apricot tree. Apricots are naturally less susceptible to peach leaf curl fungus. Here's a real life example. This fruit laden apricot tree is growing without a hint of peach leaf curl right next to an incredibly infected peach tree. Have you seen peach leaf curl fungus in your garden? Why don't you let me know what worked for you in the comments below? Wishing you healthy plants and happy gardening.